Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are continuing on with Oat Harvest and uh, getting some things done. We're going to jump to this combine here quick. I want to set it so he stops. And unloading because it's going to be kind of a pain to try and unload him on this curve here. So we're going to get him unloading. And while he does that, our truck over here is full. So we're going to run this thing back to the farm and get it unloaded. Have to drive over our Whoa. Okay. All right then. Um, we're gonna run this guy back and get him unloaded. Uh, the swather is completely done, so that guy is. Uh, I've got him back in the yard up by our heated shop, uh, ready to get washed up and fixed up put away so we will be doing that uh, at some point but uh, we'll worry about that after we're done with combining which uh, we should have done this week uh, well our oats anyways and uh, have that all done up and ready to go. So we're going to cut that guy off. My bad. So we're going to get this unloaded and we'll take the truck back. And by that time, we're probably going to have to unload that combine again. Because he is filling up relatively quick. Uh, field 10 there has been yielding pretty well, so I can't, uh, can't really complain too much about that. We're getting a pretty decent yield off of that field, so. We're going to go around the back side here. Ooh, okay. Thought we were going to clip our header there for a second. So yeah, as you can see, there's our swather um, just chilling, waiting. So we will get him taken care of soon. And let's get this unloaded and thrown into the bin here. I think our bin is still fairly open, yeah. So we'll be able to come back with one more load and we'll be able to dump a part of one more trailer into that bin. Hopefully we can upgrade... Uh, to a nicer truck and trailer set up soon too. I definitely like to uh, get into a little bit nicer of one, so we shall see about that. Hopefully we can get a fairly decent 
amount of oats. I'd like to fill that second bin yet, too, but not too uh, sure if we'll manage that one or not. We will just have to uh, wait and see, and I see our combine is pretty much full again. So we're going to have to unload him when we get back. And then we'll uh, probably just go ahead and dump this thing right away. Okay, what do we got going on up here? Okay, he has stopped. So he did finish off his headlands, which is good. Hopefully soon we'll be uh, able to afford that cow barn, or that cow farm, I should say. Hopefully in the next year or two, we'll uh, be able to move on to that. Definitely want to focus more on expanding our uh, current operation before we worry any about... Uh, adding another operation to our farm. Perfect. So we'll get that guy to sit right there, and then we'll grab our cart. We'll run over and unload our combine here, and then we'll probably be, yeah, we'll be ready to empty our cart. If you guys remember the last episode, I um, was talking about... Uh, Sean there, our salesman down at the dealership, uh, was talking to us about, uh, we were talking to him about trying to get into a bigger grain cart uh, and tractor for corn harvest. And he did say that he found us one uh, that he thinks is going to work. So we'll have to uh, kind of see what he comes up with uh, when it gets here. Uh, he said it should be soon. He said it'll be in time for corn harvest, but he didn't think that we would have it in time for finishing up oats, um, which is quite all right. Uh, I'm not too worried about having it right now for oats. We can keep up with this tractor, but for um, for corn, we definitely are going to need a bigger tractor and cart to keep up with it and we'll see if we can get a semi too uh, or not I'm not sure uh, he was gonna let me know if uh, they got any trucks down there that we can try and get into as well He said they didn't really have a whole lot sitting around for rigs and hopper trailers, so we'll just kind of have to see what uh, what we get. And I said, and I told them too, if we don't get a truck and trailer, that's fine. We can manage with the one that we got. As long as we have a bigger cart and tractor, we should be all right. 
because I think we're going to have a lot of corn to uh, combine, so... Combine's moving right along. He's already a quarter of the way full almost. Just from that one pass. So these fields are definitely doing much better um, than that last one. I mean we did we did do pretty good on the last field too, so I have no complaints of our current yield. If we look here. Our yield map is pretty uh, pretty green, so um, let's see our oats fields. Oops, I forgot to change this. Let's just get these set to where they need to be. Kind of forgot about it. There we go. Alright, so our front hopper is not quite full. It's pretty close. And we might as well grab this guy if we can catch him. Actually, what we're going to do here. Let's deactivate. Oops, wrong one. Uh, deactivate that. And then we'll grab the cart. here. And he is not going to stop, which is, I guess that's fine. We'll let him turn around and we'll pick him up on the way up. him quick. Maybe he'll stop at the other end, hopefully. Now we'll finish unloading them here.
top off this front hopper here. Yeah, we were pretty close to having that one filled up, but just not quite. And that combine is already 34% full. Good grief. We're just racking up the oats. Just gonna go ahead and unload him right away. We'll unload him a little ways down and then we'll wait for him to reach the end there. Let him uh, get down to the end and unload him the rest of the way. And then I th think, I'm hoping we should be able to top off that truck the rest of the way. I'm hoping. But uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. ahead and take this guy off of course play we are done with this field and then what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make a cut here I'm gonna get everything moved over to field 9 because it's gonna take a while and then um, when we come and then I'll come back once we get moving on that field so I will see you guys in just a moment alrighty and we're back so we just barely there was one percent left in the grain cart and we got the trailer full so we're gonna see how much we can dump in here uh, before this bin fills because we were about eighty some percent so just about full. I think we might be able to empty out our front hopper. Yep. is all that she can handle. We're going to back this on up. And we're going to open up the lid on our next bin here. Uh, 
that'll work. Perfect. And we'll jump in here and we'll get this trailer emptied the rest of the way out. There we go. And I see our combine is full again, so let's run up here and get them unloaded again. exactly sure of what this thing is doing so we're just going to pull right there pull him off of course play and we'll get him unloaded and then we'll send him back on his way getting a pretty uh, decent yield which is going to be very very good hopefully we can make some uh, decent money then here this winter when we start selling alright so our truck is emptied out let's bring this guy up to the field I want to I don't know if I want to completely cut out those trees but it'd be nice to cut them back a little bit but I think we're just gonna leave them because eventually we are gonna change the layout of the yard so we're not gonna worry too terribly much about uh, that area right now I should go in and edit the edit this truck Because I'm pretty sure there's a l light in Giant's Editor that uh, the visibility is on for. Um, I haven't looked, but it's got a glow around it like there's a light on it, which is rather annoying. So we'll have to take it and get it uh, fixed up perfect now let's hop back into our cart here 60 percent we might as well go ahead and unload it right away
full again. We just can't keep up with it. So let's run over and unload him again. Figure out where he's at here, right on his curve. in front of him here and get him to stop. This is going to be a nightmare to try and unload around this. So let's take a peek here and see what we currently have. So we've got 5,001.6 bushels of uh, oats currently stored. So we got about $200,000 worth already here. Perfect, let's get out of his way. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get us close to done with uh, this oat field here off camera. And then when we come back tomorrow, we will finish it up. And then we'll probably jump right into uh, corn harvest right away. Uh, we'll probably just fast forward to then. And get rolling on that, and we'll see what uh, what old Sean ends up bringing us for some toys. Hopefully something good so we can try and uh, get this corn knocked out quickly and efficiently. a fair chunk in that corner because of that curve, but that's all right. I'm not going to worry about being too picky about it. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get enough money to purchase field 5 and field 8 and then I would combine all four of these together. Um, we'd probably leave the trees in this area except I'd probably cut out this area to kind of make a nicer curve in there. And then uh, any trees over in here, combine these two and then I'd just combine up here and here. I'd leave the trees in this center. And then this deal right here as well, but I'd take out this whole waterway. And then uh, we'd have a nice large field there. And then I want to pick up field 29 and combine those two. And then I'd like to look into getting like 2 and 3 or something, or maybe 18 even. Would love to get more fields, that's for sure. Um, and then if we were to get fields 12 and 27. I'd probably combine those two together. Um, yeah, I'd probably combine those two together as well. And he is full again. Good grief. We just can't keep up. So we'll get him unloaded here and then... Uh, 
that's probably going to be it for today. Alrighty, that's going to do it for today, folks. Like I said, I'll get some more of this done off camera and get us to uh, harvest or to the end of oat harvest. And then uh, we will uh, jump into corn. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, folks, we'll see you all tomorrow.